Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Foley's After Midnight. My guest tonight is Mr. Tom Goodwin. Tom, thank you, thank you for being on the show. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, hey, thank, hey, you hey, hey, thank you, fan. Steven, yes. Now, I don't, I don't know your story, Tom. Where, where did you go to elementary school? Where, I want to know who Tom Goodwin is. Where to begin? Elementary school. Let's start there. St. Bernard Catholic School. Right was across the street from our high school. Okay. You went right across now, the street. Now, is it Bernard or Burns? Good question. Yes. If you're French, it's Bernard. <laughs> if you're an Anglo like me. Depends on if you're from the Caribbean or the Caribbean. Exactly. Oh, good call, good call. Okay. Played. Now, did you play tennis? I would accompany them. I was, on the, I was on the lower end of the spectrum. And badminton. You played badminton, ball. yeah. He was in there. I would, uh, Van Warberdam and Tom Hawk. Van Warberdam, also from Bernard, and all of my uh, badminton partner. Okay, I would sometimes show up to those those after school badminton days. After midnight specials. <laughs> exactly. Stop. Name drop. But that'd be too late. No one would be there, and I would no. just help clean up. It with the janitor, Gerald. He was nice. So now I'm getting to know you. Yeah. What about after high school? You went off to Laurier. To Laurier. I Laurier. And you moved out there for a while. You lived with our friends Dave Drury and Nick Zebrick. Hold on, we're we're getting we're getting something over here. <laughs> yes, uh, I was roommates for Nick with Nick for five years. And then Dave in our last year. Wait. Yeah, but the three of you were in a house together at one point. Yes, mm -hmm. it was quite the orgy. It's that quite the orgy of fun. Right there. Speaking of which, I don't have my glasses. I don't know what we're looking at. Oh, we're that's, looking a, at that's, that's a nice flower. Who's that? I don't know. Well, put in a name I would know for God's sake. There is no name. I know all the names. <laughs> the bartenders. What did you Google? The bartenders seem to Google pretty <laughs> girls lying on their sides with flowers in their hands. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No. No, but like, what, what do you got on the? What do you got going on right now? You're you're moved back here. You're done school. Done school. I'm done school. Um. So what do you what do you got going on now? What's uh? Ugh. Looking looking for work. The lawyer biz. Oh. Yeah. That law. Looking law. for the field of law. Yes. You're dressed for it. I mean, it's a big field. A lot of dandy lines. Oh yeah. Now, uh, the things I do know about you, even before you coming on the show. Uh, 100% is that I feel like you're a movie buff and a Simpsons buff. Yes. Ever since I've known you, you can quote Simpsons like nobody's business. But it's been on my mind lately. When it comes to movies, it's inevitable that pretty much everything is being remade these days. You know, they've run out of ideas. So I have a little fun-filled activity for Ooh, us. Fun. And uh, the bartender can join us. Uh, I have a series of posters of movies that are classics. I thought it'd be fun if the three of us became the casting directors and see if we could recast these iconic roles mm. and um, see if our opinions will be any good. Get us through. Okay. So uh, the bartender's going to join us over there and um, let's go to the, the first movie. The Shining. Shawshank Redemption. Great, great film. <laughs> Close. The Shining starring uh, Jack Nicholson and um, Shelley Duvall. Shelley Duvall. Let's just think, you don't want to go broad... Uh, so that should keep... have been remade with Macaulay Culkin as the kid, <laughs> and Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa as the two people. Each other Regis Philbin as Jack Nicholson's <laughs> role. Guess who? Get, uh, guess who? Right? Oh, it's Johnny. It's, it's crazy. You don't let me in. It's Johnny. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill. I'm not Jack. I'm Johnny. <laughs> God, that would be horrible. You know what I love and just person I love as an actor. Yeah. I'll probably put him for every movie role. Gary Oldman. That guy can do Yes. Anything. He always is vicious. Fun. Have you seen him in Kamish True Gordon? Yeah. True Romance? True Romance? Plays the white Rastafarian? Yes. Uh, Amazing. The, with the professional? When he was the bad oh, guy? Oh, he was the bad guy now. He was... Uh, I believe it's called Leon. Oh, Leon. uh... <laughs> mm. That's true. Fifth Element. Again. He was oh, the bad guy. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of... Imagine a Chris, um... O'Donnell. Chris Tucker. O'Dowd. Chris Tucker as Jack Nixon's role. <laughs> hey, Chris Tucker in the shot. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you one crazy ass bitch! I think about the poster, I think, uh, just bring back Jack Nixon and, like, yeah, uh, he can still do it. and a howler monkey for, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Black and white. 
But we're getting carried away. Okay. So Next movie. Oh, Indiana. Sheila Jones. Booth. <laughs> Shia Booth. That's what they were setting up there, but I don't know. Um, fuck. Could they? Uh, re- Michael Fassbender. Oh, As good Jones. choice. Yeah. I mean, you got to get someone with coolness. But he seems. I like, mean, he looks too, cool. He looks. He's good in every room. <laughs> he looks too evil, though. He's yeah, too, yeah, he, he does have an evil side on PC. <laughs> I think he. Could. He's too good at playing a bad guy. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I oh, know. I got it. Army Hammer. Army Hammer is growing in Hollywood and my heart. Now, this final film I picked... Uh, is it Jaws? No, I, I've considered it... Take, take, take a guess at what it is, though, Tom. Because I don't even know either. So, yeah. Is Think. It, no, I guess not Star Wars. Making that. Well, your hint is, I consider it... It can't be remade. You can't recast this. It the was Dark Knight. No, no. It's... it's uh, not oh, what, what, what? What? 80s. 80s. A Roadhouse. No. Jaws. No. Police Academy. Alien. No. Full, uh, yeah, Beverly Hills Cop. But no, I feel like you can't recast this the way it was cast, and that is Back to the Future. Marty! Oh! Uh, This has plagued my mind. Marty! You gotta go back! (laughs) Who else can play Doc Brown? Your daughter marries the black (laughs) man. Let's keep it clean. Uh, You can't, you can't recast that. No, No, you're absolutely right. That's what made the 80s great. It was like the 90s is corny. The 80s was just out there and they kind of had to work for it. Like they couldn't rely it on the It worked CGI. for certain films, for sure, yeah. They couldn't rely on the CGI as much. Like um, Robocop. Was mm. that 90s? Was that 80s? Yeah. No, 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 that was 80s. Really? That was 80s. A fan casting I saw of Back to the Future. Doc Brown, John Malkovich. <laughs> <laughs> no. Love it. If you want a He's good too time, scary. If you want a good time, get drunk and watch Man in the Iron Mask and just, just watch the John Malkovich scenes. Yeah. Oh, Danton! How are you? <laughs> no, that is the prince's brother. He would probably kill the Iranian terrorists that come to shoot him in the beginning. That's true. Like, he would not be in a movie. But, uh, now I also read a fan favorite for Marty. Daniel Radcliffe. Clint Eastwood. Daniel Radcliffe. Yep, yeah, short guy. I don't want to hate it. <laughs> oh, what guy. about Don Glover for Spider Man? Yeah, it's still up there. I know it's old, there, but there it's. Is a, there is a black Spider Man in the comics right now. <laughs> I don't read it. I <laughs> immediately thought of Danny Glover as Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this web-slinging shit. I'm getting too old to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That, that, that's enough for recasting. Now, uh, on to the game that I have for you. Uh, yeah, I, I, threw a, uh, I want to put it in a game for every guest, and uh, you will win a prize. The game I have here Hope is... an uh, angry hand jibber. I'm going to read a quote... Um, because as I said, you're a Simpsons buff. Mm-hmm. I'm going to read a quote from a character. You have to guess who said it. Okay. And, uh, I believe there's, f- uh, five or six. Sure. You have to get them all. Okay. If you don't, you don't win the prize. Steven, you stay out of it, because you're also a Simpsons buff. Steven knows Don't Simpsons. worry. Oh, sorry, bartender. Now, uh, do you want to play? Deal. Okay. <laughs> First quote. Whoa, whoa, slow down there, maestro. There's a new Mexico? I'm going to go with Homer. No. Is that your final answer? Wait, wait. I know what it is. Can I say? If you, yeah, wait, if you, wait, wait. I'm going to go with Bart. Bartender, is he correct? No, it's, uh, it's Mr. Burns. It is Mr. Burns. What, what episode is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. But I did my research. He says it. Next it's quote. Season. My cat's breath smells like cat food. That's a Ralph. Is that your final answer? The answer is Ralph Wiggum. That's one. That's the guy? I didn't even know that. Really? No. I, I would have figured, but... Anyway, okay. So, next Simpsons quote. It's be a lot easier if I could hear the voices. Your questions have become more redundant and annoying than the last three Highlander movies. Oh, that's a tough one. I'm going to say... I have no idea. comic book guy. Is that your final answer? I don't know. He's the only one that would know the Highlander. These are from new episodes. I'm I, I don't. I don't know if they are. I'm challenging. Is this your final answer? Yeah, I'll do a comic book guy. The answer is comic hey, book guy. Hey, hello. Guy. He's the only guy in the series we would know. Because if you say it, this voice, like, we quote Highlander. The last three Highlander movies. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cross between like. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Is the comic book guy and uh, your questions have become more redundant and annoying than the last three <laughs> Highlander movies. <laughs> 
reveal his real name in an episode? Is that when he sleeps with Skinner? Conquest? Right? No. Uh, okay, so are you ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. It's not the last one, I don't think so. Dear Mr. President, there are too many states That's nowadays. Grandpa. Please eliminate three. P.S. I am not a crackpot. That's Grandpa. Grandpa Simpson? Grandpa Simpson. Awesome. Grandpa Simpson is the answer. Hello! Okay, so I'll you... be cold dead in the grave before I recognize Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Favorite line. Since you got the first one wrong, I'm going to award you an extra point <laughs> just for finishing whatever that scene was. It was from uh, I, when Homer sexually assaults the babysitter. It's like, or it's something like the media have called the dummy father goose. <laughs> <laughs> the dummy <laughs> demonic Yeah, I don't know that name. I don't get it. Now, uh, Roddy, Roddy, peeper. Let's see what the uh, <laughs> the next quote is. You know those guitars that are like double guitars? You know? Oh, that's gotta be Otto. That's so good. Otto Man. That's Otto Man, yeah. Is that your final answer? I thought his name was Otto Man. Is that your final yeah. answer? Yeah. The answer is Otto Man. Thomas Goodwin, you win a little bottle of Wiser. Don't drink it all in one go. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, let's do it. Thank you so much for being on the show. Hey! Thank you, hey, Barton. Hey, 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 hey,